to have a lot of stress. And because it's thicker, it's much less likely to crack. The thinner, and especially in the corners, can be very delicate. So that's where you're really looking at and honing in on? Yep. How long does it take to inspect something like this? Assuming I get it clean and dry, 10 minutes. Okay. Maybe. Put the part in here. Pneumatically clamped in. Oil-based vehicle with tiny iron shavings in it. Each of the iron shavings are coated with a fluorescent gel capsule, kind of like vitamins. I make sure it's wetted and thoroughly coated. Then I'm going to run about 2,000 amperage right through it. 2,000 what? Amps. Now if there's a crack, it will create north and south poles on either side of the crack. And those iron filings will line up nice and neat. How big are the iron filings? Very, very tiny. Like, do you have a... Really <laughs> tiny. It's what I call it magnetic particle? Yeah. It's smaller than dust particles. Okay. So we let things settle and run a little bit. And there you go. You see that curvy looking jagged line? Just oh, above yeah. the number. Yeah, that's a crack. So then what do you do? How do you document that or what, how do you well, that's where it gets really easy. I just have to write down to this crack and pass it back to the owning work center who gave it to me to inspect. Okay. And then they'll take it and they'll look at how long the crack is and they'll bump it up against the tech data says whether or not the crack needs to be repaired or whether the whole thing needs to be replaced and they'll make the disposition call from there. So you don't have to like tell them exactly where it's cracked or what Oh, well, I'll mark it to. out okay. so that they can do an exact measurement. And in some cases, I'll even measure the depth of the crack. Okay. Sometimes they're just looking for corrosion and pitting. Sometimes they just want to know if this is a crack or a scratch. Just depends on what they want from me.